Hello, 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 guys. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello good evening. Me escuchan bien y me ven bien. No hay, no hay ningún problema. No problem. Ok, yeah, perfect, perfect. No problem. perfect. Que yo creo que se actualizó esta máquina y después se me reinició así. Yo dije, a saber si no me va a dar problema. Y ya ahorita que estamos justo a punto de terminar, uff, se imaginan que me dé problema. Y ahorita sí no estamos para recuperar clases, guys. Ahora sí es. No, que la vamos a hacer otro día. No se puede. Porque ya estamos en la recta final. ¿Qué me hace con...? Good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Okay, let's go. I'm going to start with the attendance. Let me... Wait a second. Okay, Ana Gladys Moraga Rodríguez. Beatricia Milet Lucero Pérez. I'm here. Okay. Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. Here, teacher. Hoy sí está en casa, Carla. No. Working. Trabajando. Oh, she's working. Okay. Okay. Daisy Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. Hazel Ruth Melara Rivera. No, okay. Iris Joana Cañas Morales. José Arnoldo Corea Jovel. Carla Patricia Pineda López. I'm here. Perfect. Katia Gabriela Sánchez. I mean, mezclé nombres, perdón. Katia, Katia Gabriela Hernández García. I'm here. Perfect. Um, Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. I am here. Perfect. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. I'm here. Okay. Ya vi su mensaje. Okay. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Maricela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. I'm here, teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrientos Chinchilla. Rina Aura Espinosa de Acuña. Sara Ivette González García. I'm here. Okay. Hoy sí, I'm here. Ah, ok, hoy sí está present. Very good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sonia Yanet Martínez de Orellana. I'm here. Stephanie de la Paz, Elaya Serpas. Start here, Stephanie. Tomás Aybet Ramírez Castillo. I'm here. Okay. Judy Araceli Cuellar de Hernández. I'm here. Karen Elena Vázquez Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. And Luisa Donaya Aguilar Merino. Okay. Perfect, guys. Thank you very much. Now let's start with the topic we have for today. And let me share my screen for that. Oh, no, no, no. First, write the date in the chat. Okay. Send me what is the date today. What is the date today? Me lo mandan en privado para que no le vaya a caer a los demás. Rafael, you're sending the date to the chat. Okay, so send the date to the chat. Ah, come on, Marisela. Okay. It needs to be personal. Igual, estoy equivocado una cosita ahí. Varias cositas en realidad. Pero vamos a hacerlo privado.
nueva marca de reloj al lanzador de Jeff Spiderman, de Santo. Oh my god, guys. Here where I live, no sé si donde ustedes viven. Esto del 7 de diciembre y el 8 de diciembre es una gran costumbre y a mí eso me afecta horriblemente en mi rinitis. Ya se fogatas y toda esa cosa. Queman basura porque eso no es fogata para mí, eso es quemar basura. Ah. Oh. Good job, Karen. Katia, maybe you're mistaking the day. Just the day. Tomasa. Yeah, the month is December, not November. Kenya mm, is Tuesday. And first we write the month and then we write the date. Good job, Luz. Good job, Sara. It is the same. First is the month and then is the date. Sonia, the same. First the month, then the date. Remember the date needs to be with capital letter. Again, Rafael, the same. Hmm. Me parece curioso que me están cometiendo el mismo error funny. So the mistake you're making is me están escribiendo th for Tuesday and you only write th for Thursday. Me están confundiendo jueves con martes, guys. Me están escribiendo Tuesday. Me le voy a enseñar. So this is jueves. And this is martes, right? Yes or no? Ustedes me están haciendo una mezcla de ambos y me están escribiendo así. No, it's not correct. That is not correct. Okay, so it's Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. The first mistake. Then the other mistake you're making is today is December, December with D capital D at the beginning. Then the date and then like this. Remember, recuerden, in English we write first the month and then the date. In English, primero es el mes, después el, la fecha. Mes y la fecha específica. Mes y fecha específica, recuerden eso. First, first, remember, remember. So, por ejemplo, la abreviada. Deme un segundito. Ok. So, la fecha abreviada en inglés, en español sería, por ejemplo, hoy es 7 de diciembre del 2021, ¿verdad? Así sería nuestra abreviada, ¿sí? ¿yes? Así, ¿verdad? Incluso más abreviada. Pero en inglés, en inglés es like this. Like that. ¿Ok? So in English is different because in English we write the month first and then the date. ¿Ok? So, abreviado, usted va a ver abreviado así, mire, diferente. Y es importante que sepa esto, porque una vez, a mí por estos errores una vez me fue bien. Yo tenía que regresar de Estados Unidos el 7 de junio del 2017. Esa era la fecha que yo regresaba al país, miren. Entonces, yo me quería quedar un mes más 
Y llamé y les dije, miren, yo tengo la fecha reservada, me la reservaron en realidad para el 7 de junio y yo me quiero quedar un mes más. Y me dijeron, no, pero usted la fecha en realidad se la reservaron para el 6 de julio. Entonces la persona que estaba a cargo se equivocó con las fechas. Miren, la primera aquí es, en español sería que 7 de junio, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés, okay. aquí es julio yes. 6. Julio 6. Entonces me la dejaron en realidad para el 6 de julio. So yes, you need to be careful with that. Parece que no es nada importante, pero es very important. El orden. Primero, month and then date. Ok. Month, date. Month, date. It's very important. Así como de último, Marisa, aquí me lo acaba de enviar. Tuesday, 7 December, es December 7, ¿ok? December 7, y varias personas me mandaron, algunas hasta me mandaron el diciembre primero. Estoy viendo, antes del día. What? No, y siempre lo vemos, miren, aquí le pongo en todas las presentaciones, le pongo lo mismo. Ahí está, miren. Can you help me reading the date, please, Iris? Tuesday, December 7th, uh, 2021. Thank you very much. So it's Tuesday, December 7th, 2021 or 2021. Can you help me with the topic for today, please? Let me see. Let me see the caritas here. Rafael, help me read in the topic. Está apagado el micrófono. Sorry. Videoconferencia number 17. How to use so and such. No sé. Okay, perfect. Thank such you very much. So. Such, such, such is okay. Such. So how to use so and such. Thank you very much. Yes, okay. so we have this practice for today. But, antes de empezar, hoy sí, preguntas sobre la plataforma. Recuerden, vaya. yo no sé si ya les empezaron a enviar los correos donde dice lo de la encuesta. ¿Ya les empezaron a enviar esos correos? ¿Ya les llegaron? No, 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 teacher. no, 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 solo una persona creo que le ha llegado, Bye. a quienes no le ha llegado recuerden cuando les llegue, porque va a ser probablemente en estos días, cuando les llegue no contesten, vamos a esperar al último día de clases y en el último día de clases contestamos eso together, Tengo un segundo que no tengo, ok, Contestamos eso together. La siguiente, la documentación, recuerden una vez más, tenemos hasta el viernes para yes. recibir su documentación, el 10, December 10th, we have para recibir la documentación. Entonces, eh, usualmente los de inglés corporativo están bien ocupados con este tipo de, de procesos. Y son varias empresas las que tienen. Imagínense, yo soy una teacher y ahorita las clases hay como, ¿qué? 15 otros profesores dando las clases al mismo tiempo que yo estoy dando la mía. 15 o 20, imagínense cuántos alumnos son esos. So, um, lo más sensato sería preguntar en su empresa, en Recursos Humanos, miren, ya ya mandaron la documentación en inglés corporativo. Y si ellos les dicen que sí, es porque ya la mandaron y pues ahí se solventa. Si no, hagan la expresióncita porque con esto, no es que ustedes ya inmediatamente se van a inscribir, porque para volverse a inscribir, les dejo claro eso, van a necesitar la planilla de enero creo que se van a necesitar de nuevo la planilla de enero para inscribirse y saber que el mes que está cotizando está en clase, está inscribiéndose en clase. Ahorita van a reservar cupo. ¿Ok? Entonces, es muy importante que manden todo eso porque si no, no reservan cupo para el siguiente año y el siguiente módulo. No sé si me explico. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Ok, entonces, importantísima que la documentación ya esté, que empiecen a mandar esa documentación, ok, please, 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 let's start with that, y después eh, empezar 
pues ya vamos a hacer las otras cosas, la plataforma y cosas así. Ok, anyways, um, vamos a ir, creo que no hemos trabajado bastante en el libro, así que vamos a irle a la page 30. We're going to work in the page 30 in the manual. Ok, so el tema que hemos estado practicando, that's it, the topic we have been practicing. Okay, here. Now, write the sentences with the correct words provided using the parts of be or simple past. Recuérdense que el pasado de be es was and where y lo otro es el, el simple past. So, aquí tenemos I be, obviamente está el pasado de be, interested product. I Ah, ok, tienen que agregarle otras palabras. So, for example, para mí eso tendría sentido así. I was interested, estaba interesada, in the product. So, you see? Solo agregué in the. I, el past de V, was interested in the product, para que tenga sentido. I was interested in the product. Ok. Number two. You, uh -huh. we don't have the verb be here. We have the verb by. And what is the past of by, guys? The, uh, oh. the past of by is but. Oh, no, but. but. Uh -huh. but. Como very bad, a bit of butter, but. So I, uh, I mean, you, 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 you. No me corrigen. You, but. The item. Oh, and let's remember, I told you about prepositions of place with, the, oh, I mean, the prepositions of time. With the months, we use in, on, or at with the months. In. 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 In December. In December. Yes, in December. Okay. Let's do, do the number three. She read the policies. Aquí es simple. ¿Cuál es el pasado de read? Read. Read. En, en realidad se escribe read, pero la pronunciación read. es read. Ok. Read. So she read the policies. Ok. The other three. You're going to do the other three and send them to the chat. Ok. Right now. Send it to the private chat, not to everybody, just to the private chat, okay? Una pregunta. Yes. En la número cuatro está Gabe, ¿verdad? Que sería el pasado de Gabe. Entonces no entiendo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Ahí así la van a cambiar. Así la van a poner. Yeah. Ese no yeah. cambia. No yeah, cambia. exactly. It doesn't change. Okay. If it is in the past, the past. Uh -huh.
quienes están en teléfono sí pueden hacer oración por oración. Pero quienes están en computadora, por favor, háganlas, mándenlas todas juntas. Mm, yes, Kenya, the only problem is with they sent mm, the contract. Después voy a corregir ahí. Ok, ya vi que no saben cómo, cómo referirse al email. Ya lo enviaron a su correo. Ya, otra vez no veo, veo el mismo problema aquí. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. There we go, Kenya. That's better. That's better. But, como dice my email, vamos a cambiar una cosita. <coughs> nope. There are some problems. Severe problems. Okay. Estoy esperando varias personas. I'm waiting for a lot of people in this moment. Así como lo hizo Rafael, está bien. They send the contract. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, Iris, good job. Hey, also, Katia, good job. Good job, Jose. No, Marisela. Nope. Okay, let's do let's do them. Okay, here, ¿cómo queda esta? A ver, ayúdenme. Uh -huh. The supervisor. The supervisor give me. Give me. Gave me. Gave me. Gave me. Gave me. A discount. Perfect. Let's do this one now. They, what is the pass of send? Send. 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 Oh, oh, sorry. They sent the, the contract. contract. ¿Cómo se dice a mi correo? Tú. Tú. A mi correo. To my email. Okay. They sent the contract to my email like that. They sent the contract to my email. Now here, he, what is the past of P for he? What was. Was. He was. was. This. Uh, Pointed. Perfect. He was disappointed. He was 
So, I was interested in the product. Ustedes repiten, I was interested in the product. You bought. I was the... interested. Ok, Rafael, vaya, reayúdeme usted entonces, Rafael. I was interested in the product. Sí, Rafael, si sí me quería ayudar. I was interested in the product. Thank you. You bought the item in December. You bought the item in December. Sí, no se preocupe, que si no repiten, no aprenden. Ok, she read the policies. She read the policies. The supervisor gave me a discount. The supervisor gave me a discount. Perfect. They sent the contract to my email. They sent the contracts to my email. Perfect. He was disappointed. He was disappointed. Yes, very good. Okay. Démosle un aplauso al compañero ahí, Rafael. Thank you, Rafael. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Rafael. Thank you very much for your help. <laughs> Deme un segundito, es que se me va a apagar la compu. Give me a second. Ya me mando mensaje. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. There we go. Perfect. Now, now it's better. It's better. Thank you. Okay, now let's go to the page. No, we did the page number. Uh, 31, we did 31. Now we're going to go with the page 32. 32. So here in the page number 32, we have six sentences. It says, write the sentences using negative. Now we're going to use negative. Write the sentences using negative in simple past. So here, this, quest, this statement, Presten atención, después van a estar ahí. This statement is in the simple present. I am satisfied with my laptop. But I'm going to use the negative in the past. So it's not in the present anymore. And it's not an affirmative statement. It needs to be a negative statement. So what is the past of I am? I I was. was. I was and wasn't. what is the negative? Wasn't. Wasn't. So I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. So you're going to rewrite the statements in the negative and in the past. So Marta writes a letter to her boss. What are we going to write? Marta? In the negative, what do we did write a letter to her boss? Okay, so toma en captura, porque vamos a ir a trabajar esto in groups. Take a screenshot. And you tell me when you are ready. Pero en los grupos, guys, de nuevo, participación, participación. ¿Por qué estamos haciendo esto? ¿Cómo haríamos esto mejor? Ok, participate in the groups. That's the purpose. Déjenme ver, este grupo está bien. Sí, está bien. Ok, I think this is good. Yes, it's good. Let's go.
Karen, ahí está la invite.
Daisy. Hello, teacher. ¿Qué me lo pasó? Ay, estaba un poquito ocupada. Ahorita me pude conectar. ¿Ya está desocupada? Sí, ahorita sí, ya. Ok, perfecto. Lo voy a mandar entonces a un grupo de trabajo. Okay. Ahí está. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Para qué soy buena? Aquí para la clase. Me parece que aquí tenemos. Es cuando el diren, cuando está el diren, el verbo. No, ese se mantiene en su forma base. Uh -huh. El diren, por ejemplo, aquí el, se, el segundo es Marta. Didn't write a letter to her boss. Ok, Marta didn't write a letter to her boss, correcto. No se le agrega la S, ¿verdad? Porque ya estamos utilizando el didn't que es auxiliar y el verbo se escribe en su Ajá. forma base, correcto. En su forma base. Ah, correcto. Hola, hola. Yo tenía duda. ¿Con qué? Eh, en la en la tres eh, porque tenemos our sería where weren't. Ajá. 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 Weren't. Ahí sí el weren't porque está el el verbo. Yeah, porque está el are y el to be okay. es ajá. So. Yo teníamos la confusión de poner el verbo en pasado, teacher. Sí, el verbo está en pasado. We weren't. Uh -huh. Solo que we weren't so happy. Correct, correct. Solo cuando se escribe, cuando, cuando utilizamos el, el didn't, no, no cambia el verbo. Solo cuando no, tú, no. solo cuando el didn't. Solo con el didn't es esa regla. Aquí el verbo to be sí se escribe en pasado con el negativo. Ok. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Marta didn't write a letter to her boss. We weren't so happy with the foster.
Ni a Mari. Hola, ni a Katy. Me mandaron para otro grupo. ¿Cómo fue? No, ya regresamos. Ah, okay. ¿Qué tal, ni a Katy? Ya con todo. Afirmar. All right. Yo empecé la clase y de repente escucho cómo estaba ahí ese chambrecito. No voy a interrumpir a las comadres, dije yo. ¿Cómo es posible que yo voy a interrumpir a las comadres en plena? Mira, a la, a la ñamar y a la ñacati. Las iba a interrumpir yo. No, ¿cómo es posible? That's not possible. Yo, yo tenía buen buenas horas de no verla, la ñacati. Ah, ok, ok, ok. That's why, that's why. Ok, perfect. Las comadres, ya entendí, ya entendí. Very good. Okay, so this one is I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Now, um, Kenya, can you tell me the number two? <clears throat> okay. Marta didn't write a letter to her box. Perfect. ¿Quién va a ser la siguiente persona? Who's next? Tell me, Kenya. You choose. Maricela. Maricela, tell me number three. We weren't so happy with the food service. Thank you. Who's the next, Maricela? Katy. Katy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pedro and me didn't drive to the company. Perfect, Katy. Who's next? Um, Judy. Judy. Okay, Judy. Number five. Okay. Ah, number five. The principal didn't send many emails. Oh, no. Yes, it was number five. Yes, it was number five. Quien is next? Who's next, Judy? Um, Maricela? Yes, yes that, yeah, no, my goodness. Quieren dos veces, Maricela? Okay. <laughs> Tomasa. Tomasa, okay, Ma Tomasa. Okay. The program, the program wasn't too slow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So yes, guys, remember, ya veo que están agarrando un poquito más lo del past. So thank you very much for your, for paying attention and for everything, okay? So now let's go here. Here we have two readings, okay? Let me see. So here it says, read Mrs. Mrs. Remember this is Mrs. Read Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres describe their experience with two different companies. So they are describing experience with different companies. When you finish reading, we're gonna answer these two questions, okay? So I'm gonna read these two for you for so you can understand pronunciation and then you're gonna read them, okay? Mrs. Mendoza, I had a problem with the payroll system, with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged, wow, he even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the, the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Mr. Torres, I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car's problem too. He gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. Okay, do you need me to repeat the pronunciation? The size. What? Decides. Decided. Decided. Decided, decided. ¿Dónde está eso? En la, en la penúltima línea de Miss Mendoza. De Miss. Besides. 
Oh, besides. 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 Eso es como aparte de. Besides. 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 Okay, another one. Uh, he sold it. He sold. He sold. Con D. Sold. He sold. Sold. Yeah, con D at the end. Sold. 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 And the payroll. Sería teacher payroll. 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 No, payroll. Con L al final. Payroll. 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 Yeah, better. And what is your meaning the payroll? Planilla. Planilla. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, you're going to read this. You're going to have an opportunity to read this. And then you're going to answer these questions here. So, tomen un screenshot de esto. Y luego van a tomar el screenshot de lo otro. Okay. Remember, please, please participate in the breakout rooms you have to participate, okay? That is your job. Porque voy a algunos breakout rooms. A ver, siempre que no vayan a participar en un breakout room, avísenme y díganme por qué. Porque, por ejemplo, yo sé que Luz está ocupada, ¿ok? Ella se ha justificado que está en una reunión, pero ya se va a integrar con nosotros. De ahí las demás personas, nadie se me ha justificado. Así que no tendría nadie por qué quedarse en silencio. Si usted me dice por qué, entonces yo entiendo. De lo contrario, hay que trabajar. Ok. Vamos ahí. Teacher, what is the face? The page is page 33. 33. Gracias. Del cuarto, ¿verdad? Eh, yeah, four, number four. Teacher. No me salió la pantallita para unirme a un grupo. Si sí la mandé, qué raro. Vaya, la voy a mandar. Vergo. Mm. Ahora sí le apareció.
Magdaleno, welcome to the class. Hey, teacher, good evening. Did you finish? You. Yes, I am going to my house. Vaya, sus compañeros están practicando en un break room. Lo voy a mandar ahí para que escuche por lo menos lo que están haciendo. Claro, sin problema. Igual puedo participar. Perfect, pero siempre con los, los ojos en el camino. <laughs> claro, siempre. Ok, ahí está. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Okay, I need to call roll. So I need to go with the attendant and then we're gonna answer the questions. Okay, Ana Gladys Moraga Rodriguez. Beatricia Milet Lucero Pérez. I'm here. Daisy Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. I'm here. Eh, Hazel Ruth Melara Rivera. I'm here. Okay, Iris Joana Cañas Morales. I'm here. Jose Arnoldo Corea Jovel. I'm here. Carla Patricia Pineda López. I'm here. Katia Gabriela Hernández García. I'm here. Perfect. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. I am here. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. I'm here, teacher. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Um, Maricela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. Rafael Antonio Barrientos Chinchilla. Present. Rina Aura Espinosa de Cuña. I'm here. Okay. Sara Ivette González García. I'm here. Sonia Yanet Martínez de Orellana. I'm here. Stephanie de la Paz Elaya Serpas. Bueno, está Stephanie, ¿verdad? Okay. Tomás Ivet Ramírez Castillo. I'm here. Judy Araceli Cuellar de Hernández. I'm here. Eh, Karen Elena Vázquez Hernández. Present teacher. Luisa Donay Aguilar Merino. Okay, perfect. Let's work on this. Let's go with the answers. Okay, guys, now in this moment, I'm going to share my screen and you're going to tell me the answers for the questions. Okay, so here we have the first question. Did Mr. Mendoza had a problem with a method of payment. Mrs. Mendoza, sorry. Mrs. Mendoza had a problem with a method of payment. Yes. She, okay. she had a problem with the payroll system. Yeah, yes, she did. So, so yeah, yes, she did, right? Luego, did Mr. Torres call his best friend to help for help? No, he didn't. Who did he call? A quien le llamo? Who did he call? A mechanic. He called it for assistance. He called for assistance. He called a mechanic. Correct, correct. So here, guys, we have answers and we have questions. So based on the answer, we are going to guess what is the question. Yes, I did. I sent the email. So obviously, the question is about if the person sent the email. So the question will be, did you send the email? Okay, did you send the email? Aquí está el question mark. No, they didn't. They didn't check the package. ¿Cuál creen que será la pregunta? Did they mm -hmm. check, check the package? Check the package, correct. Now let's go, you do number, okay, no, let's do this one. Yes, it did, the car turned on again. Did the car, what, turn, because we have the did there, turn on again. Sure. Aaron, um, okay. you, you do number four and number five and send it to the chat, please. <clears throat> okay. 
So today, hoy se tiene que quedar Daisy, right, Daisy? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So number four, can you tell me what is number four, Tomasa? Tomasa? Tomasa, dígame el number four, please. We, we did. We vale. did. ¿Cómo se abren las preguntas? ¿Con qué, ¿Con qué se abre una pregunta? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar para la pregunta en pasado? Did, did, did. Did, so did we? Did we? ¿El verbo cuál es? Receive. 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 Y luego continúe con esto. A copy. A copy on the receipt. Receipt. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Sara, number five. Did he to buy a new toy? Did he... Buy. Eh, Recuérdate que no hay otro verbo para agregarle el to, no. Solo mm -hmm. va en su forma base el buy. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Did he buy a new tire? Did he buy a new tire? Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's go with the next part here. It says, ask customers details about a problem. They had to provide a solution. Okay. So we're going to read this email. And when we finish this email, we're going to answer these questions. Remember, this is at and this is that. At, that, at, and that. This is, I'm going to repeat it, at, and this is that. Okay? That, so let's at, do it. That. To, I'm, I'm going to read it, okay, for you to listen to pronunciation. To Peter T at jmail.com. Jmail, not Gmail, jmail.com. Subject, complaint about a trip. Complaint, do you know what is a complaint, guys? Queja. 
exactly. Complaint about a trip. From hazard.r at jmail.com. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. What is AC, guys? Uh, I don't know. Yes, AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay. Do you have questions about pronunciation? Sorry. From. In the email. From. Uh, In the email. Uh, Hazard. But you can say H A S E R dot. R, or you can say Hacer. <laughs> that has point, point that, ear. that 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 so Hacer, that R. 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 La letra R is Hacer, R. That R. Mm -hmm. Y esto es. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Así se lee. That and oh. at. Okay, that and at. So then it's, this one will be hazard that r at jmail.com. Okay. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yes, teacher. Luz, are you go with us now? Yeah, but only speak. <laughs> I okay. send a message. Okay, to you. okay. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, you give me a second, guys. Okay, you can take a screenshot now. Uh, here is the question, and here is the, yeah. Okay, take a screenshot. Everybody needs a chance to participate. Ah, pero, 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 Luza, voy leyendo su mensaje, pero un accidente como like, 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 like minor, or me está hablando de un car accident. No, 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 ah, 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 me ah. caí. Oh, oh. No, caí okay, muy bien. Ah, yes. ok, ok. But you're good? You're ok? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ok, perfect, good, ok. So, uh, let's go and we're gonna, guys, everybody, aquí me están pasando muchos problemas que no pueden leer. So, I need you to practice reading. So, todos, everybody in the breakout room needs a chance to read this. Everybody tiene que tener un chance para leerlo, ¿ok? Please, I need you to do that. Ok, let's go. Beatriz, are you there?
to Twitter at gmail.com so that complain about a treat from hazard dot or at gmail.com last week i had the chance to travel with your company to another country but to be honest with you it was a bad experience because the boss that you was signing me in didn't have a team it was a long trip and the bus was very slow i am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience i have No sé quién sigue, Beatriz, veo que quitó el... Creo que estoy. El arroba se dice ad, ad, ¿verdad? Yes. yes, sí, ahí está un ladito, ad. Yes, bye. To Peter at gmail.com To Jet... A complete about a trip from Hazard that are at email dot com. Last week I had the chance. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa compañera? Chance. To travel. Chance. 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 To travel. A chance. A chance. Yes, it's correct. Chance. chance. To travel with your company. With, another, with your company. With your company. With your company to another country. It was a long trip. And the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Voy yo. To Peter at gmail.com. Subject: Complain about a, a trip from asr.r at gmail.com. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company and our country, but uh, to be half. Honest with you is what I got experience because the boss that you signed me me in, in didn't have a C. It was a long trip and the that subject complain about a trip from Hazard that Jim, Jim uh, that at that Perdón. that are at gmail.com. Last week, I had the change to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest, honest, honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned assi 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 me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering considering not traveling with you again again because of that convenience I have. Rafael. Mm -hmm. Okay. Creo que vuelve a to Peter at gmail.com. Subject complaint about.
Hello. Hello, teacher. Que animos, guys. So, are we happy today? Are you happy today? Se les ve bien felices. ¿De qué, de qué, de qué es cara? ¿De, qué, de, de alegría, cara de ya casi terminamos el módulo. Qué felicidad. We're so happy. You look super happy. Tienen una cara de Navidad, pero increíble. De feliz It's Navidad my... tienen una cara. Es mi Friday face. Es your Friday face, yeah, I can see that. Tienen una cara de, pero yeah. lunes, tienen una cara de lunes a las 5 de la mañana. Ya han visto esa cara, que uno se vuelve a ver el zapato y reconsidera. ¿De verdad necesito ese dinero? ¿De verdad necesito sí. este trabajo? <risa> esa cara tienen de ver el zapato en la mañana o quedarse viendo el ventilador un punto fijo así. Yes. Yes, <risa> queriéndose regresar al útero de la mamá. <risa> Yo estaba mejor allá, más calientita, <risa> más con comodidad. Yes, very good. Bueno, pero vamos a hacer el ánimo, ni modo. We're here and we have to do this, ¿ok? So, I heard some problems, guys, with the pronunciation. Um, I still, like I told you, about some pronunciation. So when I went to the breakout rooms, I heard problems, for example, with this one. This one is honest, no honest, it's honest. Be honest, honest. Experience, experience. Assigned, me decían, no, it's not assigned, it's assigned, assigned. Okay, assigned. Long trip, long trip. Very, you're not pronouncing, you're not saying the V, like V, very, very slow. Considering inconvenience, inconvenience, okay? So pay attention to the pronunciation one more time. Lo voy a leer dos veces, two, twice. I'm going to read this twice. When I finish reading, I'm going to choose people to read it. Okay? So pay attention to my pronunciation, porque puede ser que le diga usted. Read it. Okay? Listen. To Peter T. at jmail.com. Subject. Complaint about a trip. From Hazard that are at jmail.com. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest, with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in, you assigned me in, así sería como completo, you assigned me in, you assigned me in, didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. One more time. I'm going to read it one more time and then I choose two people. To Peter T at jmail. Ya entiendo que se equivoquen ahí, pero es jmail. jmail.com. Subject, complaint about a trip from hazard that are at jmail.com. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. 
It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay, Hazel, you're the first person. Hola. Hi. <laughs> Se lo leo yo, me dijo que una persona. No, you, you're gonna read it. <laughs> it's okay. To prt.jmail.com. Subject, come play about a, a treat. From acer.r at jmail.com. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you are sending me in didn't have a seat. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I, I considered it not traveling with you again because of, of the inconvenience Inconvenience, inconvenience, I had. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Repita conmigo, chance. Chance. I am, I like, I am. Chance. An inconvenience, inconvenience. I am inconvenience. So here, aquí, aquí me lo dijo, I'm considering. Y cuando está separado dice, I am, right? I am. Ah, I, am. I, mm -hmm. am in, I am considering. Considering, yes, considering. perfect. Thank you. Okay, okay thank the you. next person is going to be. Let me see. Ah, rapidito encienden las cámaras cuando piensan que voy bajando para donde no hay cámara. El gecko, el gecko va a ser la siguiente. Ok. Ah, a ver, ¿quién tiene cara de.? Espérenme, el que, persona que tenga cara más feliz, a esa persona voy a elegir. Ok. Y con feliz me refiero a la más triste. Ah, let me see, let me see, let me see. Rina, ok, help me. <ríe> Pero no estoy triste. Está cansada. Cansada, sí. Ah, ok. You're tired. Yo fui a jugar fútbol. Ah, <laughs> wow. Look at the class. Muy bien deportivo y todo. Y uno aquí bien sedentario. <laughs> ok, Rina, help me. We're at at Gmail. Dot com so that complain about a trip hazard dot r at gmail dot com last week I had the chance to travel with your company to another country but to be honest with you it it was a bad experience because the boss that you assigned assigned me in didn't have a team. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I have. So, lo repitamos esta inconvenience. Inconvenience. Thank you very much, Rina. ¿Y qué pasó, guys? Cuando yo dije que Rina iba a leer la segunda persona y como dije que solo y todos iban a leer, cuando dije que Rina iba a leer, todo, todo, todos hicieron esto. Rapidito, like, ok, so I don't have to read it anymore, ya estaban, primero todo el mundo estaba como inconveniente, cuando Hazel estaba leyendo todo inconveniente, y no sé qué, cuando Rina ya estaba leyendo todos estaban como, yeah, I'm happy, porque ya no voy a leer yo, right, right, pero guess what, se confundieron, porque sí voy a elegir a alguien más, you see, así juego con sus mentes yo, <laughs> Okay, so the last person, it's gonna be en representación masculina, Rafael. Y todas de nuevo. 
Ok, Rafael. <risa> to Peter at Gmail. Gmail. Gmail.com. Subject complaint about a trip from Hazer R at jmate.com. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you are sending me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I have. Okay, repeat with me. Honest. Honest. Assigned. Assigned. Inconvenience. Inconvenience. Thank you very much. So thank you, Hazel. Thank you, Rina. And thank you, Rafael. Give them an applause, you guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Perfect. <laughs> oh my God, my students. Okay, perfect. Let's continue with the next part. So we did this already, so we're not gonna do this one. Remember, just to solo solo voy a explicar como regla general. Okay, I'm gonna explain this like this. No se me estén durmiendo. Don, 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 don. Hagan como Magdalena la vez pasada. Agarren un guacal con agua. Okay. Here. So I'm just gonna explain how questions work in English. And then I'm going to explain how WH questions work in English. So for example, I have a statement in English in the past, simple past. I bought, no, let's do it with you. You bought a car yesterday. Okay. You bought a car yesterday. You bought a car yesterday. In the questions, we're going to open the questions with did, did, did. And then we're going to need the subject. Did you, did you, and then the verb is but, but we have the auxiliary did in the past. So the verb is going to be buy, buy, buy correct. So did you buy, and then the complement as well. Did you buy a car? Yes, there, they, like that, okay? You bought a car yesterday. Did you buy a car yesterday? Now, if I want a specific information of the question, I'm gonna use the WH words. And the WH words will be at the beginning of the sentence, okay? Before you write did. So for example, I want to know why this person buy a car yesterday. So I'm going to write why in the same structure that we have here, the same structure. Why did you buy a car yesterday? So remember, I'm going to explain that again. For close questions, you need only did, subject, verb, complement. For open questions with WH words, you're going to write the WH word at the beginning of the sentence or at the beginning of the question. And then you're going to write did, subject, verb in the base form, complement, and question mark. Okay, so this is how we write questions in English. And this one, the first one, is simple question. You can answer with Yes, I did, or no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. ah, okay, hello, yo dije, tal vez me quede congelada, I don't know what happened, so, and the questions that I open with why, every time I have a question with why, the answer is going to be, because, because. Because. because, correct, like that. Because I wanted, uh, or I needed, maybe, maybe I needed, because I needed a new car. Because I needed a new car. 
okay, like that, because I needed a new car, okay, perfect. So now, is it clear? This topic is clear, guys, or do you need me to explain that again? It's clear, teacher. It's perfect. clear, teacher. Clear? It's clear. clear. Yeah, clear, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Sara, questions? Que la veo como que anda buscando respuestas ahí atrás, Sara. <laughs> no, no, no. Yo me quedé como, tal vez estaba como, no entiendo. No, no. Ah. Es, que, es que acaban de poner la nota de simbología, entonces me cayó un mensaje y fue como, pero ya. Ah, ah, ah. Entonces okay. estaba gritando a mi esposo que había pasado tres de las Ah, oh, good job. Solo le un aplauso a Sara, guys. Pasó la materia. <laughs> uh, very good, Sara. Good job. Mire. Está estudiando inglés, está estudiando no sé qué, está estudiando no sé cuánto. Ella, she's a multitasking person. Una persona que hace muchas cosas a la vez se le dice multitasking. Very good. Ok, vaya, la felicitamos aquí. Congratulations. Ok, perfect. So now, guys, if you understood that, understood that topic, we're going to continue with the vocabulary we saw yesterday. Do you remember that at the end of the class I showed you a vocabulary? Yesterday? At the end of the class? I don't remember. You don't the, remember? The, the customer and the... Uh-huh. The, the things yeah. that does the customer and things that does the, the, the employee, I mean, the company representative. It was, right? Company representative, I think. So it was on page. Let me see the vocabulary. was on page 29 page 29 <clears throat> now we're gonna continue with that topic but you're gonna remember the words we saw yesterday guys no vimos el tema de so, so and such porque nos hacía falta mucho el libro mañana vamos a ver ese tema y el otro no okay so here this was this was the vocabulary that we saw yesterday for example so the what what do you think it is the first one Pick up the phone. Pick up, pick up what? Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Correct. It is that. And this one? Bye. Bye. Correct. Bye. So you see, the only thing you need to do is to complete this. So take a screenshot because we're going to complete this. Chin, 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 chin. <laughs> Let me see, let me see, let me see. Carla ya está en casa o todavía no. Italiano ahorita está disponible, creo. Right, Magdaleno? Yes. Yeah, right. Okay. I am able. Available. But yes, uh, available. Uh, available. available. Yeah. Not able. No. Okay, able. Able is, is capaz. Able is capaz y available is disponible. Okay, I'm, I am available. Perfect. Okay, Carla Maritza, okay. are you the home? Attendance teacher. Oh, yeah, the attendance. I won't forget. So, vamos a hacer esto rapidito. Yes, teacher. Oh, Carla, you're at home. Perfect. Okay. Let's do this.
Okay, let's go with the last attendance. Ana Gladys Moraga Rodríguez, Patricia Milet Lucero Pérez. I'm here. Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. Here, teacher. Daisy Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. I'm here. Hazel Ruth Melara Rivera. I'm here. Iris Joana Cañas Morales. I'm here. Jose Arnoldo Corea Jovel. I'm here. Katia Gabriela, no, pero mi Carla Patricia Pineda López. Ok, Katia Gabriela Hernández García. I'm here. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. I am here. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. I'm here. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. I'm here. Marisela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. Here, teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrientos Chinchilla. I'm here. Rina Aura Espinosa de Acuña. I'm here. Sara Ivette González García. I'm here. Sonia Janet Martínez de Orellana. I'm here. Stephanie de la Paz Elaya Serpas. Tomás Ivette Ramírez Castillo. I'm here. Judy Araceli Cuellar de Hernández. I'm here. Karen Elena Vázquez Hernández. I'm here, teacher. En Luisa Donaya Aguilar Merino. Okay, perfect, guys. I'm going to stay with Daisy, right, Daisy? Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. And the other ones, I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye -bye. Have an excellent Bye -bye. night. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh my goodness. Hello, Daisy. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> fine. Perfect. I'm, and you? I'm doing good. Solo que me empezó así como un dolorcito de cabeza aquí bien raro. Pero, o sea, no me duele la cabeza, sino que solo como aquí. I don't know. It's weird. Como nervioso, quizás. Maybe. Maybe something like that. Maybe. Okay. So, do you have any questions for me? En, eh, bueno, con lo del tema que estamos viendo me estaba costando un poquito, pero ya logré diferenciar cuando vamos a utilizar was y where, porque ese es el que me estaba costando un poquito. La diferencia entre el was, where y el didn't. Ajá. Ah, ok, ok. Pero ahora, por ejemplo, si yo le digo una oración que se la voy a decir en español, yo no trabajé, ¿cómo sería? Eh. Sería, I, I didn't work. Yes, perfecto. Y si yo dije, yo dijera, yo no estaba, yo no estaba ahí. Yeah, I, I wasn't here. There. There. Yes, there is ahí. Perfecto. Entonces ya entendió el tema. Ajá, sí. Es que yo no había entendido cuándo iba a usar was y cuándo were, pero... Cuando es el to be es is, Ajá. was, y cuando es are, es were. Correcto. Y también cuando el to be es am, porque con am se utiliza ah, was. was. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Solo eso entonces? Sí, eso yeah. es lo único. Igual, esto de, bueno, con el tiempo me cuesta, pero estoy intentando ver así como películas en, en inglés. Que leerlo, sí, a veces sí entiendo, pero ya que digamos que yo voy a formar así como oraciones, ya me cuesta más. Mire, yo mi consejo que le doy a las demás personas es que no se pongan a ver películas o series complicadas, sino que pónganse uh -huh. a ver las caricaturas de los niños, que ya ve Ajá. que son bien fáciles. Esas caricaturas, véalas en inglés y va a ver que rapidito va a ir agarrando, y después ya se pone cosas un poco más difíciles. Sí. Yo me puse a ver el, el de Kung Fu Panda, que usted nos, ah, okay, okay. nos mostró. Ajá. Entonces, eso me puse a ver. Wow. Sí. Puede, puede poner también cosas como las caricaturas, pero me refiero a las caricaturas de los niños, como mmm, de estas caricaturas que son bien básicas, como Dora la Exploradora. Digamos un ejemplo. Ese tipo de caricaturas son, they are super easy y bien fáciles de entender. Y ya después va aumentando usted el nivel, ¿ok? ¿Algo más en que le pueda ayudar? 
Por el momento todo bien, dicho. Ok, perfecto, Daisy. Entonces, I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye bye. bye.